We've all heard of NAN, an open source AI agent creation platform you can use to build and deploy agents locally to automate almost anything, from sending emails to creating digital employees that can act as a PM, software engineer, and so much more. The only challenge with NAN is that it can feel quite intimidating for new users. But this is where I would like to introduce Sim AI. Sim is an open source drag and drop AI agent builder like NEN, but far more user friendly. It's lightweight, intuitive, and you can rapidly build and deploy large language model agents that can connect with your favorite tools. You have multi-model AI support where you can connect with different providers, plus 60 over pre-built tools like Gmail, Slack, Notion, and many others that you can use with Sim, similar to how you would with NEN. In essence, Sim AI is a visual workflow editor that lets you build AI-powered apps by seamlessly connecting different nodes on this canvas with the drag and drop component to create almost anything, whether that's chatbots, automation workflows, or simple data pipelines without writing a single line of code. And this is something that we're gonna be taking a look at throughout today's video. Just take a look at this. Someone was able to create a phone app where you can actually have it so that you can find YC jobs directly within Telegram. This is an automation that will deliver new job postings directly to your Telegram. And it's an automation that was fully developed with Sim Studio with a simple drag and drop interface. This is where it will provide different job postings for different companies. And it will also showcase the job requirement, role, experience, as well as a couple other factors. And the best part is, guys, this is something that you can access 100% for free as it's open source and locally available if you are to connect it with something like Olama. And it's super easy to install, which will showcase. They also have a cloud platform, but I don't really recommend you use this because there's no point of paying for this when you can just simply locally install this, which will showcase how to do so. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. To install this locally, you're going to need to have two prerequisites fulfilled beforehand. Just make sure you have Git installed as well as Docker desktop. And once you have these two installed, we can get started. What you want to do first is open up Docker Desktop, make sure it is running in the background. And once you have it running, you can go over to this GitHub repo, which I will leave a link to in the description below, as well as all the other links. Copy this Git clone link to clone the repository and then open up your command prompt. Once that is opened up, you can then paste this in and clone Sim onto your computer. This will take a couple of seconds, but once it has finished, we can then navigate into the Sim directory by typing in CD Sim within our command prompt. Once it has finished cloning and that you have directed within the project directory, you can now start sim up with the docker compose command. It's really simple guys. You can simply go ahead and copy this. Now you can also use local models with Olama. So if you want to run sim with local AI models using Olama with no external APIs required, you can start with the GPU support with Olama directly with this docker compose command rather than starting it up with this but in this case, we're going to be using Anthropic because I prefer using Anthropic as well as OpenAI's API for this particular use case of creating different AI agents. So right now I have pasted this Docker Compose command while having Docker Compose or Docker Desktop running in the background. And guys, Docker is probably the easiest way to set this up, but you also have it so that you can use a self-hosted manual setup method, which is going to take a bit longer, but it's still pretty easy, I guess. I just prefer using Docker to start up. And once it has given you the green light saying that it is running, you can then head over to your local host, which you can open up within a new tab and it should be running. Now, what you want to do is simply go ahead and create an account completely for free. And there we go. We now have it so that we can access Sim. This is the main dashboard of Sim. And this is essentially where you can drag and drop different nodes and you can create various sorts of automations like you would with NAN. On the left hand side are your building blocks. These are different node types. You have agents that you can use to execute and power with different large language models. You have APIs. You can paste in a URL, the method. You can specify post, put, delete, patch. You also have conditions that you can set, functions, 
knowledge base, memory system, responses that you can get, a router, and so many other things. You have different tools that are integrated like Firecrawl, GitHub, Gmail. So you can practically automate almost anything. Now on the left hand side is where you're going to be able to manage your agents. You have a chat component where you can actually test it out directly to see what sort of responses are being streamed. A console to give you a good idea of what's happening in the background. And then a copilot where you can actually build, edit, and optimize these different workflows. So this is actually a tool that Sim provides where the AI actually builds the AI agent for you based off of the natural language prompt that you give in. Now, there's also variables that you can tweak. You can add different variables uh, in plain text. But once you have developed your AI agent, you can just simply click on play, which will start up, and then you can deploy it as an API as well. You can even add blocks to enable debug mode. You can duplicate the workflow, and you can even delete it. Now to connect your integrations, click on the settings tab on the bottom left and within integrations, you can connect and authenticate all of these different apps that you want to use within Sim. Now just take a look at how easy it is for me to just develop a simple chatbot. There's no AI agent, it's just a simple AI chatbot where I have a knowledge base that you can actually configure on the bottom left. If you click on this book icon, this will take you to this page where you can create your first knowledge base, where you can upload documents. You can even have it so that there's a web crawler that will scrape contents recursively. Then I can go back to the main dashboard and to do so, just click on the default agent. You can select the knowledge base that you have created. I have uploaded this. You can even add a search query or the number of results that you want to use. And then you can enter in a system prompt where I just simply said that you're a helpful, knowledgeable and friendly AI assistant. Your goal is to provide clear, accurate and concise answers. And essentially, this is just to guide the AI agent to respond in a particular manner with the knowledge base as context, which I specified. And this way, you're going to be able to use the GPT-5 model to provide answers as a helpful chatbot. Lastly, I'm placing down a response node, which is going to be outputting the responses. And to test it out, you can click on this chat after you have deployed it. Once you have deployed it, you will be able to stream answers within the chatbot. Now, obviously, whatever I showcased was a really simple setup for a workflow, but there's so much more you can do, like automating your Google Drive, your documents, even something like web scraping, you're using it within Telegram, even within other apps. There's so much flexibility with this, which is why this is a really cool tool that you should take a look at. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on Sim. This is a great free open source alternative in comparison to something like Make, Zapier, and even NEN. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.